Hey guys, I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. And today, we're going to make chocolate chip cookies just in time for Santa. Okay, so, I don't make a whole lot of cookies, but I think now is the season, tis the season of cookie making. And I can't think of anything more perfect than a classic chocolate chip cookie that I am definitely borrowing a recipe from none other than her goddess herself, Ina Garten. So this is Ina Garten's recipe, just want to make that very clear. I am generously borrowing it. Okay, so what we're going to do, very simple. Just make sure you have some actually room temperature softened butter. Very, very important. And also make sure that your eggs are room temperature as well. Just leave them out for a few hours, especially if it's cold, it's gonna take a little bit longer to actually get them to a warmer consistency. But leave those out, get them ready, and we're gonna start. Okay, so first we're gonna start with two cups of all-purpose flour, and we're gonna put it through a sift which I have right here, because you actually want to sift all of your dry ingredients. It just helps them to sort of blend easier. You have a much more consistent texture of your cookie. You don't find random clunks of clunks, clumps <laughs> of flour in your batter. It's just better that way. So I'm just going to put two packed cups of flour and sift those. We're going to do a teaspoon of baking soda. Next we're going to do one teaspoon of salt and then after you've done that just whisk it all together. It's all ready to go and we're just going to put that aside. Excuse me, hold on, there's an extra I have to attend to. <laughs> so next we're going to start with our wet ingredients and I'm going to put two sticks of very soft butter in. Make sure to get all that good butter goodness. Good butter goodness. I work with words. And this is unsalted butter, by the way. Okay, am I paying attention? It is recording. Great. Yay. All right. So <laughs> I'm a little distracted today. Sorry. Santa's coming. I just want to make sure I'm on time. I got to get these cookies made. You know, it's very, it's very stressful in the Brubaker household. No, it's not. Um, we're going to do one cup of brown sugar. Ooh. And I mean, I like to use measurements. Oh my gosh, there's like sugar everywhere. <laughs> then we're going to do a half cup of granulated sugar. We're going to do two teaspoons of vanilla extract. Because chocolate and vanilla, as Ina says, go together. And if Ina says it, she's right. <laughs> And last but not least, our two eggs. And what we're gonna do is do one egg at a time. So I'm gonna start to mix this, and then I'm gonna add my second egg. I'm not gonna lie, having red appliances during the holidays is kind of convenient. It looks great on camera. Add our second egg. And what we're gonna do is just do, in quarters, of course, just a little bit of our dry ingredients into our wet ingredients, and we're just gonna continue to mix that. Okay, so we have made our cookie dough, which looks amazing, and it is the right consistency. I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek on what that looks like. Cookie dough looks like the ice cream. <laughs> now we're gonna add our walnuts and our chocolate chips. Oh my god, why is that so good? Oh, so good. Okay, so I happen to have some walnuts. Now you don't have to use walnuts it's totally up to you. I really do like nuts, so I'm just gonna give a nice rough chop to these and throw these in with my chocolate. So, I'm gonna put almost all of this bag in here. And then, I'm just going to basically mush it together. I'm sure there's like an easier way to mush these, but uh, this is the way that I'm gonna do it. I'm just going to add all of these just as Why not? All of them. And if anything, they'll just be extremely chocolate chippy. Okay, next I've grabbed a cookie sheet and I'm going to put some parchment paper down. You can always just grease the cookie sheet with any kind of greasing agent you want. You can use butter or spray. 
butter, whatever, whatever works for you. And then I've grabbed a little ice cube scooper and I'm just simply going to scoop and place. And I'm gonna put about two inches between each cookie so that they have enough room to really, you know, expand and be their full cookie selves. And next what I've done is I've wet my fingers and I'm just gonna pat them down just a little bit so that they definitely spread. Now, people are very particular about what kind of cookie they like. Do they like the crispy cookie? Do they like the soft and chewy cookie? I like the soft and chewy cookie. I think there's nothing better than a lovely, warm, chewy, soft cookie with some almond milk, so I'm gonna make them soft and chewy. However, most of the world likes crispy cookies. I mean, everyone I know likes crispy cookies. So if you want a soft and chewy cookie, you're gonna put them in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes. If you wanna take them out before they look that they're done, they actually will look kind of undone. Now, if you want a crispy cookie, you're gonna put them in for about 15 minutes and make sure to like, if, you, if they're baking faster than you can see or tell or whatever, if they're baking faster, just make sure to bring them out before they look completely done. That way they will set up perfectly. So these are ready to get in the oven. We're gonna put the oven on at 350, make sure to preheat like I forgot to do, <laughs> and then put them in. All right, so I don't make cookies that often, but when I do, apparently they come out like this. I'm so excited. Look at that chewy gooeyness. Oh my God, it's just oozing with chocolate and nuts. I mean, it's just oh, it's beautiful, hold on. They're amazing. I can't believe it. I mm, can. Mm. Thank you, Ina. Mm. They are literally the perfect consistency. They are so beautiful. I feel like Mrs. Fields or something. It's just amazing. I <laughs> never made cookies as well in my life. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I'm Jackie, your reluctant housewife, here to help you find your inner domestic goddess without losing your inner feminist. Catch me at yourreluctanthousewife.com on Instagram, Pinterest, uh, Twitter, um, you know, Facebook, all of the above under Your Reluctant Housewife. Leave a message, subscribe, say hey. I'll see you next time, guys.